The hilarious Emmy-nominated series Crank Yankers is back for a new season. Today, I have showrunner, director, and executive producer Jonathan Kimball, who's actually the brother of Jimmy Kimmel. Wait a minute. Is this Wait, a what? prank call? Is this a prank call I'm getting? Is this the <laughs> real Jonathan Kimmel? Are you sure? Yes, How can you a... prove that you're... <laughs> Hold on. Let me get my license out. <laughs> I mean, it could be a 44-year-long prank on me that my parents pulled. But, yeah, as far as I can remember, I, I'm pretty sure I'm Jimmy's brother. <laughs> Jonathan, tell us about this uh, new season, Crank Yankers. Um, we have some really h hilarious people coming back. You know, I think the thing about Crank Yankers that um, appeals to so many people is the fact that there are so many different kinds of personalities that we bring on to do prank phone calls. So it's... Uh, you know, Jimmy Kimmel, Adam Carolla, they they are the primary uh, drivers of the comedy on the show. And then we just have like all these amazing people. We have Wanda Sykes. We have a lot of new people this season. We have Jesus and Miro. Tiffany Haddish is coming back. Trixie Mattel is new this year. Annie Murphy is from Schitt's Creek and so great. She's in the first episode. You'll see her. Um, Eliza Schlesinger, Tracy Morgan, of course, Spoonie Love. Everybody loves Spoonie Love. Um, Kathy Griffin, Bobby Brown, J.B. Smoove, who I love, um, and, uh, you know, just a really great lineup of people. It was kind of a dream cast for us of people to come and do the show, and it's always very fun. You know, they, they seem to really like it. You know, Lord knows we don't pay anybody very much, but <laughs> it's, a, you know, it's a passion <laughs> project for a lot of people. Everybody loves to sit around for a few hours with friends and make prank phone calls, so it's kind of like the whole part of what this show is have you ever made a crank call to your brother um you know we always try and it usually you kind of put on a you try to put on like um whatever the most like middle america like um hello sir uh i you know you try to do that voice and it never ever works like <laughs> Our brains are so tuned to hearing each other's voices that like it kind of makes you laugh harder when you get caught so quickly. But um, yeah, I, it's it's very rare. It has happened where, we, you know, I think he's more likely to have tricked me than me uh, tricking him. But but it is <laughs> it's always entertaining when you get the phone call now with like caller ID and everything. It's like forget about anybody not, you know. It's very rare. It used to be the, you know, you pick up your house phone, and you didn't have caller ID and you didn't know who it was going to be. So that was like the days when you can actually kind of pull that prank off. And now it's tough. Where did this idea come from, the crank calls? Is this something that you've always done with friends and family and you decided to make a show out of it or what? Yeah, I mean, we grew up listening to like Jerky Boys and we loved those tapes. You know, there in when we were kids, there was a tape that circulated and everybody like listened to the Jerky Boys and thought it was so hilarious. And then I think all kids, kind of a universal thing, somehow end up finding their way to prank phone calls. I mean, now um, it might be a generational thing. Like now everybody's on their devices and it's very rare that you can call somebody without them like having your number. So we are still willing to, um, <laughs> you know, call places and have our number out there uh, that, you know, people then call us back and like, was this a prank? And you're like, yeah, it was. Can you, will you do the show for us? Um, but yeah, we grew up, you know, doing prank phone calls. The, Jimmy has a long history of like pranking my aunt, who's always on his show. And, um, you know, we're, the, the prank is in the bloodline. The, 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 it's like our last names should be like prank Smith or something. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we've always done it. Um, and then Jimmy at one point, uh, you know, we always like grew up loving the Muppets and everything. And, and, uh, you know, the, that quality of puppeteering and to me, like in coming back to the show, it had been a few years, um, since we had done, done the last season before that it was like 16 years or something like that um before the last season and then I was just like you know this would be a really fun thing to get you know these these really great craftsmen together to put together these beautiful puppets and um the set design is just out of control I mean these people they build like over 240 original sets in a season which is just like a ludicrous thing to try to do and they managed to do it and dress them so beautiful like the whole show has a craftsmanship 
level to it that like once you get past the prank phone call part of it that's always been something that's really special to me about the show and you know people always seem to mention like we love the background jokes and all the stupid stuff on the walls and you know there's a lot of work that goes into those and sometimes they get missed but like there's always extra layers there to this show for people to see so that's kind of what's fun about it it's gonna get ready to show my age it almost sounds like laughing the background at laughing <laughs> but oh, that's yeah, another yeah. story <laughs> jonathan <laughs> kimmel we're gonna look forward to seeing comedy central's crank yankers definitely gonna look for it awesome wednesday nights people all right thanks jonathan <laughs> thank you all right are bye. you sure this is jonathan I'm not sure again. Hey, it's Jimmy Kimmel. No, it's Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.